The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. What's up, y'all? Welcome to our first episode of Noel the Mortal Fate. Oh my God, you guys don't know how excited I am for us to finally play this. Well, I figured we were going to get to this pretty soon, considering every morning you pester Obama about the game. But yeah, I'm also interested in seeing what this game is all about. Um, I've never heard of the game before, so yeah, me too, Donnie. Shh, please stay quiet for this, guys. By the way, skip to the timestamp shown if you want to avoid potential spoilers from the intro. So is this just going to be piano playing or something, Joe? Because I'm not gonna lie, this is putting my ass to sleep. Joe? Yeah, Donnie? I don't know what the fuck I just watched and listened to, but that was the coolest shit I've ever heard and seen. I'm fucking sold. Let's play this game, Obama. You bet your ass I'm going to get this game started. Joe, that opening to the game was an absolute fucking banger. What did you think of it, George? I was skeptical at first. I mean, I enjoy piano music, but I wasn't expecting things to get so intense in the song that quick. Quite frankly, that shit was hype as hell, in my opinion. I don't understand what I saw yet, but it honestly piqued my interest a lot. Those are my thoughts exactly, George. Yeah, same here. I'm not sure what exactly we're getting ourselves into, Joey, but I'm looking forward to seeing what this game has to offer. See, I knew you guys would like the game. I just know that you guys will be fans by the end of the first season. We'll see, Joey. The game is definitely promising so far. Well, that's certainly a cute little song. Yeah, that's actually very pleasant sounding. You know, it does sound rather nice, actually. It fits the atmosphere that the game is establishing here, I think. Hmm, so I wonder if that's something we need to take note of, that the pure music from the ceremonial pianist can drive away evil. Feel free to take note of it, but I won't comment on if that is important or not. You'll just have to wait and see. I figured you'd leave us in the dark when we ask questions like that, Joe. Understandable, I guess. I can respect trying not to spoil the plot for us. Yeah, thank you for that, Joey. Spoilers really suck. All right, I think I see what's going on here. So Noel here is merely following in the footsteps of her parents in trying to become a talented pianist, proving herself as such by becoming the chosen pianist for this ceremony. I would imagine her parents have extremely high expectations for her too, so that probably weighs on her shoulders a lot. She's definitely confident as hell too from the looks of it.
Damn, her friend won instead of her? Oh, that's gotta be an awful feeling. Yeah, I felt really sad for her here. I know losing is something everyone doesn't like to be faced with, but losing to your friend, no less, has gotta be the absolute worst. You wanna be happy for them, but you can't help but feel sad that you lost. Oh, I've definitely been there before. But what Noel needs to understand is that you can't always win everything. What's worse, too, is that from the looks of it, she's absolutely in disbelief. She probably didn't ever consider she'd lose. You always need to be prepared for a potential loss. I mean, it's cool to have confidence. That's a key to winning. But you can't completely discard the idea that you could lose. It'll just devastate you completely. Oh yeah, 100%, Barry. So I'm guessing by talking to all these people, we'll be able to talk with Jillian, Joey. Yeah, just talk to everybody with an orange arrow over their head, and you'll be able to talk to her to move the story along. All right, we'll do that. So I read that this Mayor Burroughs guy wiped out the mafia that was in the city. He must be a pretty powerful man to be able to do that. Damn. Yeah, he's been doing a lot for the city as its mayor. It's pretty crazy, honestly. All right, Noel, say what you got to say with your chest. Tell your friend Jillian she's a bitch and that you want to engage in a piano playing duel. All right, I don't think burning a bridge here is the way to go, Donnie. It's all about establishing your dominance, Barry. You can't show your enemies that you're weak. I'd probably do that to everyone else, but not Jillian since she's our friend. Okay, so is that gray-haired guy the mayor, Joey? Uh, it's not much of a spoiler. Yeah, he's the mayor of the city, Lapless. I figured that had to be him. He just fits the look of a mayor, I think. Yeah, same here, Don. All right, well, here we go. I wonder how Noel's gonna go about this. Yeah, her internal pissed off levels are through the fucking roof right now. I can feel it. All right, so on a scale from one to 10, how enraged and disappointed do you guys think Noel is right now? Yeah, I'd say a good eight out of 10 for sure. Her pride is shattered, that's for sure. I'd give it a five out of 10. She congratulated her friend and told her she did well. So I feel she's just disappointed, not enraged or anything. Oh, I'd give it a full case of whoop ass out of a full fucking case of whoop ass on this blue haired hoe. I can feel that Noelle is seething with rage. I agree with Joey. I think her pride is just shattered right now. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay, you're right, Donnie. She's fucking pissed. Yeah, that's definitely some shattered pride right there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The textbook definition of it, too, it seems. Well, then, uh, that happened. That's kind of odd that the camera panned over to the mayor. Did you guys see that, too? Yeah, without a doubt, I think the mayor had a hand in this somehow. I don't trust him. I definitely saw that. Yeah, me too, though. I'm not sure what to think about him at the moment. I guess we'll just need to wait and see how the story unfolds going forward. I honestly feel bad for her, guys. She's definitely feeling bad about how she treated her friend Jillian. Yeah, I can feel that. You know, we haven't even been playing this game long, but I feel bad for Noel too. Yeah, I admit, she's growing on me. Listen, Noel, sometimes in life you're gonna lose, sometimes against someone you don't like, and other times maybe against someone you like a lot, like a friend or something. You just need to keep your chin up and keep moving forward. That's just how life can be sometimes. You need to accept the results and continue with your passion. Are you speaking from experience, Donnie? Yeah, I am, Joey. That was well said, Donnie. I'm sure a lot of viewers out there can appreciate a message like that. Oh, look, it's the mayor. I wonder why he's here. I don't think I've got a good feeling about this, fellas. Well, I guess it isn't awfully strange. I mean, Noel was the favorable pick to win the competition. Maybe the mayor is here to console with her about the upset of her losing. Console these nuts, dickhead. You rigged the damn competition, didn't you, you piece of shit? Now, hold on, Donnie. Maybe he did do something, or maybe he didn't do anything at all. Let's wait and see what he's got to say here before we decide to antagonize him. Fuck yeah, she's upset about losing. Can't you tell Needle Dick?
Well, it does seem like they're pretty close, considering they practice piano together. Yeah, I can confirm they're pretty close. That's what I'm saying, Mr. Mayor. That really sucks. So they were evenly matched then? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, that's a weird typo there. Uh, just ignore that, viewers. You saw nothing. Yeah, this is a Japanese game, so it was translated. There are only a few typos here and there, not that it takes away from the game at all. Yeah, you got a point there, Joey. I personally don't care. I know what she's saying, at least, so that's all that matters. It's sad to think that there's many people who are raised to think the way Noel does. If they're not first place, then they're a failure, plain and simple. That's really rough. If there's any viewers out there who struggle from this mentality, please be easier on yourselves. You can't always be the best at everything you do, remember that. What matters is that you try your best at everything you like to do. That's all that matters. Well said, Joey. Okay, that's creepy as hell. I don't like the sound of letting Noel going to an abandoned building by the port at 2 a.m. Okay, that's very fucking sketchy. I don't know about this, guys. Okay, this is very bizarre for sure. What the hell is he playing at? Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh, no fucking way. I knew this competition was fucking rigged. I knew it. My rig senses were tingling and I knew there was something wrong. But wait a damn minute. Isn't this some dumb piano competition, Joey? Or is it way more important than we realize? Okay, hold the fuck up. I don't like that Mayor Burroughs said that this might drastically change her life. Joe, what the fuck is about to happen? I can't answer those questions right now. Just let the story unfold. Damn it. All right, Joe. Okay, fair enough, Joe. Thank you for holding back on any spoilers so far. It's really appreciated. Yeah, thank you, Joe. It's greatly appreciated. No problem, fellas. I just want you guys and the viewers to have the best experience with this game. Well, anyways, it seems like Noel here is just as confused as we are. Yeah, no kidding. I would be, too. Well, call me Shaggy when I ask this, but are we really going to go to a spooky-ass building at 2 a.m.? Really? Okay, will you do it for a Scooby snack, George? Give me four and we've got a deal, partner. Here you go, George. Oh, damn, you weren't kidding. Scooby-Doo gummies are the fucking bomb, man. Yeah, these gummies are good, but they don't hit as good as those Betty Crocker's Scooby-Doo fruit snacks from many years ago, man. Shit was like crack and gummy form. Fucking facts! It's a fucking crime that the originals aren't sold like they used to be anymore. Yeah, it's a real shame, honestly. Oh man, a nap would be so good right about now. But I gotta stay strong and stay awake so I can see you guys react to this banger of a game. Yeah, no falling asleep, my guy. Okay, it feels like we're in Rock Tunnel from Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. Goddamn. Yeah, it's darker than the inside of my ass in this place. Okay, that's a crazy analogy, Joe. Okay, enough fooling around. Let's find a source of light we can use to navigate the house. A light should be in that drawer, Barry. Okay, awesome stuff. Let's head outside. So we've got a point system? Interesting. Well, I don't know how somebody could fuck up this part. I'd be surprised if anyone failed this part. Ha 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 ha. I don't know about you guys, but the atmosphere is really fucking creepy right now. I like it, but damn, is it unsettling. Yeah, it feels like something could jump out at us from the darkness at any moment. Yeah, I'm honestly loving this atmosphere right about now. Shit. Well, it makes sense she wouldn't have the key to open the gate. It'd be too loud anyways. Try looking for some kind of side gate or something, maybe? Yeah, I'll try that. Ah! Holy shit, that scared the ice cream out of me, man. Yeah, no kidding. I'm embarrassed I fell for that. Jesus Christ, man, me too. Well, that sure got me real good. Okay, so since all of the gates are locked, it seems like we're going to have to make our own stairs over the wall with those crates. All right, let's get to moving that box then. Oh yeah, before I forget again, let's get the question of the week for the video out of the way. All right, so if you could visit any fictional world, what would it be and why? Would you just pay a visit or would you consider living in it? Be sure to leave your response in the comment section down below. 
And while you're at it, if you're enjoying the video you're watching right now, how about you hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with more content from Sushums. Be sure to leave a like down below too if you'd like. Yeah, hit that like button if you like Scooby-Doo gummies. Well, with all of that out of the way, I'm really worried about Noel here. I've got a really bad feeling about what's going to happen next. Yeah, I'm a little on edge, admittedly. Like, why the fuck is Mayor Burroughs having us come all the way out here in the dead of night? Either it's something extremely serious or something fucked up. And we've got no choice but to find out which is what. Uh, who the hell is this? Uh, man, I forgot that she's really cute. Oh, okay then. He sent his secretary out here. I feel like he'd come here personally. Yeah, I thought so too. Sibylla Becker, huh? Interesting. Poker face secretary is a pretty fitting title for her since she's wearing one. Ha 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 ha. Okay, this must be pretty serious if it has to be kept secret. Wait, a secret deal? What sort of secret deal? Yeah, I'm just as confused as Noel is. Okay, we know a little bit about the Mafia thing, but just what is she getting at here? Okay, so a new company moved in. So what? What does that have to do with anything, Miss Secretary? Wait a fucking minute. So she's trying to insinuate that Stella Stage rigged the competition? Okay, that's all I needed to know. All right, fellas, let's get Operation Trump underway. We're going to build a Trump Towers in the city of Laplace and put those fuckers out of business. We'll get Mayor Burroughs to endorse us and then that company will be history. That'd be kind of funny to see, not gonna lie. Okay, wait. Is she saying that Jillian might have been chosen out of bias? Yep, that's exactly what she's implying, Barry. Yeah, I'm gonna choke slam that cheating bitch into the dirt, I can promise you that. Okay, wait a minute here. I know she may be cheated, but you can't just choke slam a kid, man. Okay, I'll just punt her into the stratosphere then, how about that? That's still bad, but whatever, go off, Donnie. I think I'm leaning towards Stella Stage taking a liking to her. I mean, we really don't know Jillian that well yet, but I don't think she'd cheat just to win the competition. Yeah, she seems like a certified Noel dick writer. I highly doubt that she herself cheated. In any case, boys, Noel should have won, and I think the majority would agree. This error in the judging needs to be corrected. What I wonder is how will this be corrected, though? Uh, just wait and find out, George. All questions shall be answered in due time. All right, we're listening. Elaborate on this deal that you keep talking about, please. Uh, Joe, what the fuck is she talking about here? Just keep on reading the dialogue, Barry. What kind of damn question is that? We don't know for sure if she's even being truthful about Stella Stage's interference, but even if they did cheat, I don't think that's worth killing their president over. I agree, George, but hold up. What the fuck did she say? There is a magic button to kill him? Okay. I'm pretty sure those are devils or demons or whatever. Is she implying that we're going to use the power of one of those things to kill the president of Stella Stage? That's exactly what she means, Barry. We're going to summon one. Okay, this is starting to get batshit insane. I love this, Joe. So devils can grant wishes? I doubt that comes without a cost. I mean, that just sounds too good to be true, right? Yeah, there's definitely a catch to all of this, George. I just know it. Look, Noel, sometimes we gotta get our hands dirty in order to win and win bigly. What the fuck, Donald? Why are you encouraging a 15-year-old girl to commit a heinous crime like that? Look, Barry, Sibylla has the right idea. Nobody is looking. It'll be fine to get her hands dirty here if we're gonna pull off taking out the Stella stage president. And see, they just want a fair outcome for the piano competition. Okay, she's definitely starting to pressure the poor girl here. Her heart rate is starting to speed up. Honestly, fuck this secretary, bitch. She's just trying to push Noel into doing it at this point. I don't like where this is headed, fellas. Yeah, she's hardcore trying to manipulate her feelings here. 
No doubt about it. Man, why does she have to be hot, though? It's sus as hell she's pressuring her. But damn, if that was me, I might have folded already. How unexpected of you, Donnie. I would have expected that from Joey. Ha, 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 ha. Damn straight. She should throw it back for us if she wants us to kill the president. Uh, not for Noel, but for me. That is absolutely wild as hell. Fuck yeah, Joe. Keep spitting, King. Well, shit. It looks like Noel just got convinced to go through with this crazy-ass assassination. God damn it. Well, damn. Here we go, fellas. God, I'm so fucking terrified for how this is going to turn out, man. She's 15 for crying out loud. I can't believe how naive she is. I mean, I know she's 15 years old, but goddamn, I can't believe she's fully willing to kill somebody just to be chosen as the true ceremonial pianist. When you put it that way, Barry, it does sound rather fucking stupid. But then again, the piano competition might have some importance to it, you know? I mean, it might be important, but there has to be another angle we can tackle this from. Like getting a police investigation started or something? Well, it's too late for that one, Barry. Noel has the magic circle drawn and the summoning's ready. Damn it. That's fucking disgusting, dude. What the hell? They have to use crow's blood for this shit? Yes, they do, since they're summoning a devil. Wish I could summon some burgers and fries right about now, not gonna lie? Oh, of course you do, Donnie. You guys think remaking that summoning circle from the game will actually summon some food, actually? I mean, I don't know. It's worth a shot, I guess. Oh, hell no. You better not draw any satanic shit in this house. Take that shit outside or something. Plus, there's literally a burger joint down the street. Well, shit. She did it. Okay, not gonna lie, he looks cool as fuck. Yeah, he looks cool as hell, actually. Oh, uh, he's a fucking bird. Do you guys see he has a bird head? Hey, don't call him a bird, George. He doesn't like that. Isn't that what he is, though? A crow? Well, yeah, he looks like one because of his head, but he's a devil. Uh, okay, whatever, I guess. Please talk her out of making this dumbass wish, Mr. Birdman. Even you acknowledge she's rather young, right? Damn, he's still gonna grant her the wish. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter to him. Well, might as well speak with your chest now, Noel. Karen is summoned, so you might as well go through with making the wish now at this point. Noel has that stuttering stat at 100 right now. I mean, shit, can you really blame her? I'm sure she's scared out of her mind right now. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. Damn, he looks bored of that wish. Ha 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 ha. Kill him because he's a piece of fucking shit. Damn, Don, we don't even know if Sibylla was telling the truth. Now we gotta get Trump Towers built in Lapless, and I'll be damned if Stella Stage gets in the way of that. Kill his ass, Mr. Birdman Devil. Damn, he really said her reason for killing him sucks. Come back later. That is crazy. Hell yeah, she wants to gain status and become the best piano player in the fucking world. Uh, pretty much. So yeah, grant her the damn wish, you fucking bird brain. Damn. Karen for real said he only grants serious wishes. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda respect him for that. Yeah, Karen's pretty cool, honestly. Well, there we go. There's her selfish desire that Karen wanted to hear. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I'd say at this point, Noel is definitely jumping off the deep end here with her naivety and foolishness. A little crazy-ish, too. Look, Karen, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to be the winner, I uh, guess. Yeah, I would just grant the damn wish already so we can get this over with. I really think this should have been the last thing we'd do to change the outcome of the competition. But whatever, I guess. And he's dead just like that? Well, goddamn, that was a fucking quick as hell, quicker than I thought it'd be. Wow. I was expecting something a little different more gruesome, but holy shit, he's that strong, Joe. Yep, as soon as the contract is made, the wish will be fulfilled no matter what. I severely underestimated the power of devils in this game, goddamn.
What the fuck? Wait, what the? Holy fucking shit, what? Joe, what the fuck? Joe, explain what happened just now right fucking now. Yeah, we need some goddamn answers, Joe. Why did he attack her like that? Like I've said before, just watch and see how this all unfolds, gentlemen. Jesus Christ, he actually just dismembered her. What the hell? Why the hell did Karen just attack her? Oh, this is so fucking bullshit. I want my lawyers on this shit ASAP. God, this guy is fucking sick. He didn't mention us having to pay a price. What the hell, dude? God, fuck this stupid bird guy. I'm revoking his N-word pass. Him being black won't cut it anymore. Uh, I don't think he would care about that, Barry. Could I have his N-word pass, Barry? Not on your life, sport. Oh, damn it. Well, of course she doesn't understand what just happened. She made a wish, and you just fucking attacked her for no reason. That wasn't explained to her prior to making the contract, asswipe. Nope, that was not explained to her whatsoever. Wait a fucking minute, did... Did Sibylla just use us to get a wish out of us from Karen? Is that what's happening here? Oh yeah, he's fucking pissed off now. I hope Sibylla Becker gets pissed on by a fat dude who hasn't showered in weeks. Oh God, that's fucking gross. Yeah, wait till I get my hands on the four-eyed bitch. I'm gonna teach her a damn lesson she'll never forget, so help me God. God, I remember why I hated her so damn much now. What a fucking smart ass. Yeah, that's a whole half-assed explanation of what went down, and you know it. Well, at least Karen here has class, it seems. But God, man, I don't know where things are gonna go from here. I'm pretty sure Noel is not gonna survive this. How could she? God damn it, I should have known the mayor was up to no good. Fuck her. Like, seriously. Fuck Sibylla, man. Fuck Burroughs, too. Is Karen seriously not gonna help her? Can he give her her limbs back or something, Joe? It's not that simple, George. I wish I could explain, but I can't. God damn it, man, why did it have to turn out this way? Killing the president gave us negative 1,000 karma for real. Oh, she wouldn't dare. Oh, hell no, I cannot believe what's happening right now. What the hell? I swear to God, if this bitch drops us right now, I will hunt her down to the ends of the fucking earth. All right, her fate is sealed now. Sibylla, your days are numbered. Mark my words, I, Donald J. Trump, will personally see to it that you die. I'll follow you into hell if I have to in order to accomplish that goal, Don. Oh yeah, same here, Barry. Yeah, this bitch just eat her last haw. But yeah, that's gonna have to wait till the next one because we're out of time now, unfortunately. Thank you all so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. Stay hydrated and keep yourself safe out there, guys. Tell your friends and family you love them too. And with all of that said, we'll catch you later, guys. We hope you have a damn good one.